Hey guys, um, this is Studio Harris here and today I'm going to be showing you a Photoshop tutorial on how to create a kind of shattered glass or broken glass look. Um, there's two kind of looks we can go for. There's, as an example, I've used this in my channel art at the minute. See the two Adobe icons here, or the application icons, where I have kind of consistent shatter, uh, like a shatter look. And it looks like it's kind of been broken from the inside out, maybe. Um, you know, another method that we can do is maybe have a centre point, you know, as if a gunshot or you've thrown a stone or something, it kind of breaks from uh, a certain area outwards. Um, I'll show you how to do that way as well. Um, they both use the same method, to be honest, it's just a case of using the pen tool differently. Um, so you're going to go ahead and create a new composition. Um, I'm going to be using text, so I'm just going to put my name, well, my second name. Um, I definitely recommend using kind of bolder font if you're going to be using text just to kind of really complement the smash I guess um, I'm not sure how good it would look if you were using thinner text I'm not sure you'd be able to really you know, create that good of an effect um, if you're using uh, importing an image and doing it similarly like I did in the application icons here you might have to just right click and rasterize uh, the layer so let's get started we're going to be using the pen tool and make sure you've got the Harris layer selected or <laughs> your text layer rather and we're kind of just going to be creating a jigsaw type look so for example we'll start off by just creating our first segment I'm going to go ahead and do this throughout the text and we're going to make sure that obviously each segment doesn't overlap it's just not natural of a break to kind of do that for example there so if you do need to alter it you're going to keep hold of control same for a Mac um, and you can just move move the anchor point about so, so that it fits nicely and um, if by any chance you wanted to create you know an, another anchor point in your individual segment you can just click on that uh, hold control again to move it about and what you don't want is these kind of curvature sides because obviously it's just not natural of glass to take that kind of look so if you hold alt whilst doing this you can move the uh, move these little lines here to straighten them up uh, and give it a kind of sharp look so we're going to go ahead and do this for all the image. I'm going to kind of be random with this one. So, like I said, I will show you how to do a kind of center point uh, version after this one. Well, it's pretty self explanatory. You probably already know how to after watching this video or watching this video so far. So, yeah good so far I might just fast forward this bit and let's sake the two uh, video time so I'll see you guys in a second segments over the text and um, now what we want to do is kind of get rid of the lines in, in between them um, so one method of doing this would be to make a selection of all these individual segments and just get a rubber tool uh, the eraser and take out all the, all the gaps which is easy enough but a preferred method is definitely to just right click and create vector mask um, not only is it quick <laughs> but if you ever came back to the Photoshop file the PSD and you wanted to say edit the text if you've gone and physically rubbed out the pixels of the text or the image then you're not going to be able to edit that any further 
whereas with a vector mask this is kind of just an overlay of your original um, your original layer so if I wanted to come back and you know change this to an A then I can do so or if I just wanted to just get rid of it and go back to the original text I can delete the vector mask that was applied on there Oops, I can delete that. Um, yeah and go back and edit it um, so yeah it's easy enough um, the good thing about using a vector mask as well um, or the good thing about doing this is you can also apply a stroke and we'll keep it black and we'll and then change the colour just for the sake um, you can see that even the stroke has taken in co into consideration the, the segments and it's actually stroked you know, the individual segments from that as opposed to outlining the, the text as a, you know, as a whole um, so we'll go ahead and we can keep those I guess we'll go ahead and delete this vector mask now I will again quickly show you how to create create a break from a center point I guess as like I say as if you know a bullet a bullet's gone through it or you know chucked a stone at it or something like that so we're gonna do the same but we're gonna start and end each of our segments in the center so to give you a few examples we'll do this and we're gonna do this throughout the image and um, again you want to try and make sure the the element the individual segments in the middle don't overlap it's not a massive deal I guess if they do but so, yeah, I'm just gonna... and the only reason I didn't change that curvature because it doesn't make a difference anyway because we're not going to see that part and I'm going to do this for all the text I would fast forward it but going pretty quick so it should be okay um, let's do the top bit now uh, and there awesome then once you've done this we're going to right click again we're going to create back the mask and you can see from this one we've got this kind of a uh, bullet look you know if you wanted to create some special effects with that, maybe you've got a bullet, you can add it here and, and I don't know, you can make it look pretty cool. But that's um yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did please like the video and if you want to see more helpful tips please subscribe to my channel. Um thank you guys for watching. Just comment if you have any questions I'll get back to you. See ya.